Jerry Estes. I'm running to be your next governor because I believe this is an opportunity to change the way that Oklahoma's government does business. When times are tough, business itself looks internally and makes changes, and this is the opportunity for us who work at the state capitol to do the same thing. And I'm talking about more than just deciding where we want to cut our, our appropriations. I think we need to change the way we do the budget process. I think we need to have the people of Oklahoma say, we want a two-year budget cycle, and we want you to only work on budget every other year. I think you will have better confidence in the way the legislature and the governor appropriate your money when you can see more effectively how that money is, how those decisions are made. But you know, we can't make those kinds of changes when we have people trying to move Oklahoma to the left or move Oklahoma to the right, and I think it's time to stop and move Oklahoma forward. And we can't do that unless we put partisan politics aside. You know, I. I could not be more optimistic about the future of this state. I have seen the resolve of Oklahoma's people, and time again I've witnessed the courage of their convictions. A few years ago, some of you have heard me say I had an opportunity to, to see um, the Tournament of Roses parade and on one of the floats that celebrated Oklahoma, a birthday present opened up and a, and a man flew out called the Rocket Man with booster rockets on his back. And a young man two rows down from me in the bleacher said, I want to go to Oklahoma. <laughs> you see, he was seeing excitement, a risk, the future. I believe in the Oklahoma that that 10-year-old envisioned, and I believe it should be the dream of every child in Oklahoma. As governor, I will work to make those dreams come true. Thank you very much. and the faculty, staff, and students from Northeastern State University for hosting tonight's Oklahoma Academy Forum. I'd like to thank our candidates uh, for being here tonight, but more importantly, for your willingness and desire to be Oklahoma's next governor. And I'd like to thank our audience members. Let's give them a round of applause.